Hello guys, I'm going to share with you how I do my surrounded bows using the larger width ribbon. Now I've already shared the technique in my original surrounded bow tutorial. I will leave a link somewhere down below or somewhere where you can find it and you can go and um, reference it. But it's doing the exact same technique, you're only using a wider width ribbon. And the reason I started using the wider width ribbon for my surrounded bows is, I don't know, it just makes the bow pop. It gives it something extra. And I'm always looking for more ways to add extra stuff to a bow. One bow can never have too much stuff, right? So that's really why I I do it now. I'm, of course, I change up my style so many times and so often. Um, but this is the, the style that I'm going with now is the um, surrounded bow in a wider width ribbon and this is a 7 8 inch ribbon that i used here um, i also like to use 5 8 inch and sometimes I even use a 1 inch but 1 inches is really um there's no difference between 7 8 inch not much a 7 8 inch and a 1 inch so let's get started first you will need to determine how much ribbon you're going to need for your surrounded bow and I'm working with a three inch topper bow. This cute little Halloween bow, super cute. Yeah, but it's three inches and for a three inch um, topper, I usually use about 22 inches of ribbon. Now, to determine how long I need my piece of ribbon for my surrounded bows, I add four inches to whatever I use to make the topper bow. So, I used 22 inches for this, so I'll add 4 to that, which is 26. And there's your math lesson for the day. So, you'll need 26 inches of your wide width ribbon. And if I'm confusing you with all the measurement talk, I apologize. I am going to definitely get up a form with all my measurements. I just haven't got around to it. I apologize. So, um, just go off the measurements that you currently use for your 3 8 inch top, uh, surrounded bows and you'll be good to go. Alright, so I'm getting 26 inches of my ribbon. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half, crease it right there, and you'll cut. So, we'll have two strips of ribbon. Alright, so like I said, just cut right here in the middle. And now we have two equal pieces. All right, this is going to be our top, top, bottom. Now, just like in the original surrounded bow tutorial, you're going to take your ribbon again, and we're going to fold it in half like this, and then we're going to crease it really good right here in the middle. And the reason we are creasing it is because we want to be able to see that line once we open it up because that's where we're going to glue our loops. This is going to come right here on the edge of that line. So we'll have some even loops. So crease it. Make sure it's even though. Crease really good where you can see it. You'll see the line. Then form your first loop right up against that line and glue and then you'll do the exact same thing to the other side and it should they'll be both even so get your glue gun and do that See, one loop's done. I'll do the exact same to the other side. And you'll want to make sure they're all even. I always leave, you see that little gap in the middle? Just a slight gap. That's what I leave. And I'll tell you why in a moment. Alright. Now, there's one half of the surrounded bow. Now I'm just going to do the other. We're going to crease it. And then we're going to fold it 
and glue it right along that line. And yes, my glue gun has got ugly again. All right, now the reason I leave just that little gap right there in the middle is because when I put them together, that's where I'm gonna bring my thread. When I put everything together on the bow, I'll wrap my thread around it to secure it all. And it'll go in that gap and you won't lose any of your loops. All right, now that you've got your two pieces, you're going to add a dab of glue right in the middle, one, and then put the other on top. Now make sure you line up your lines there. You want an even surround a bow. And that, my friends, is how we do a surround a bow with 7 8 inch ribbon. Ta-da! Alright, now we're going to put our topper in the center. And I just add a little bit of glue in the center. And then I press this baby down in the center. All right, now I'm going to show you a trick that I do because I like the loopy look of my, uh, my topper and my surround bows. Some of you don't like the loopy look, but that's just what I like. And if you want the loopy look, I will show you how to get it. Okay, and in the previous tutorial where I showed you how to um, spray your bows so they'll hold their shape better, you're going to need a towel and your, um, of course, your bow. You'll need four alligator clips. And what we're going to do is we are going to take the loops and we're going to pull them together. Put your finger and your thumb and push them together where they look like this. And we're going to put alligator clips right here to hold them. Just like that. You'll need to do this to your topper and your surround a bow. See, it's just holding the loops together. Okay, you see what I do with all these clips? Just pinch all your loops together and hold it with this clip. I've got all of the loops being held. And now I'm going to put it right on my towel so you don't get that starch or that um, hairspray everywhere. And I'm going to spray it. Not too much. And we're going to allow this to dry. And I'll show you what it looks like once it dries. Okay, and now I have removed all of the clips because um, my topper and my surround bow have dried. And see, this is the look that I'm going for. See how everything is just loopy? I love it. I love it. It's just more crunched together. Crunched. That makes no sense but you know what I'm trying to say all right that's what it looks like if you add your little clips and spray it with your spray and allow it to dry now I'm going to share another little trick that I like to do if I don't and now I'm going to show you another little trick that I like to do sometimes if I want my surround a bow showing a little bit more I will take my glue gun, let me get it again, and I will add just a little glue right here to the edge of my topper, and then I'll bring my surround bow up and glue it. Go away glue string, and then you can see it to the side, see, ta-da, so go ahead and do that to all four loops. 
And that, my friends, is how I do my surround bows using the wider width ribbon.